Good morning, rising stars. I hope you're having a great Wednesday. I'd like to apologize for my little bit of absence over the weekend. Um, I think most of you guys know, but I went to Vegas with my parents to see George Strait, which was super fun. And I thought I'd have time to act to like do a little bit of posting. I kind of thought it'd be fun to like do a live video from Vegas for you guys. But um, in reality, what happened is we were really busy um, just having a great time. And also the service there was really difficult. Like the, um, I don't know if so many people are there on their cell phones. Um, it kept sucking my battery and uh, we needed my battery for Ubering. So my phone was a lot of times either in the room charging or having like a battery preservation mode so that it didn't die so we could Uber where we needed to go. So, um, sorry I didn't get much uh, done in the way of posting over the weekend, but I'm hoping that you guys still continue to work your businesses. I know that you did because you're all rock stars and I know that mom did because I was with her and she, uh, we were chatting about uh, you know, a couple people she was getting possibility packets to and a couple people who she has in mind to share the opportunity with and um, she did a great job. She gave our Uber driver scent circle and uh, passed out some cards to some people we met at the airport. So super proud of her. So good job, mom. And um, anyways, um, I wanted to chat with you a little bit today uh, about uh, recruiting and recruiting follow-up and it's actually so timely I can't even believe it so uh, yesterday I threw a question down on this page it just said how many recruiting packets have you handed out this month and I think Carrie Nicole and mom all said three I could be let me double check that actually because I don't want to um, be giving make you think that I yeah that I'm lacking in memory. Three. Okay. Mom said two and Carrie said three. So that's, that's something to be super proud of. So Nicole said three with like a little like ah, emoji and mom said only two, but guys be super proud of that. Cause that's better than zero. That means you're still out there passing out the possibility packets. Of course, we have a goal of 10 every month. Of course, you know, it'd be great to get to five before the end of February. But the fact that you got three out, the fact that you've gotten two out, be proud of that, okay? Because all of those are seeds that you're planting that you can then go back and follow up with. So I wanted to chat about uh, recruiting conversations and recruiting conversation follow-up. And I actually, if you follow Jason Harwood or the Sensi Family Consultant page, I think he posted it on his personal page. Let me see. Jason Harwood work. If you are not friends with him, become friends with him. And follow him because he does a lot of trainings and encouragement for us consultants. And so he just did this video that I just watched this morning about recruiting follow-up. And um, it's actually what I wanted to talk about to you anyway. But uh, so that's why I'm like, this is so timely. So he talks in there. First of all, last week he challenged everybody to make the list of 12 people, three people in four different groups to talk about. Or was it just nine? Three people you're comfortable with, three people who love Sensi, three people who you'd love to have on a t your team, and was it three people who s you could see Sensi fitting into their lives? Anyways, so that was a challenge she set out last week, and I know um, hopefully you're working towards that. Hopefully you made a list and you're working towards that. I, I really liked it because it got me to think outside of people who I typically think about asking. So uh, typically, personally, I think about asking people like hostesses. Um, I usually think about asking people who love Sensi. But um, getting beyond that and really just sharing the opportunity with everybody, you never know who it's going to um, hit home with. And like he said in this call, 
Uh, <laughs> he's so funny. Go watch, go watch it. Put it on while you're, you know, folding laundry or cooking dinner or, you know, mowing the lawn. It's not lawn mowing weather yet, but, um, you know, it's, it, put it on while you're doing something else because you can listen to it in the background and he just cracks me up. But he talks about how, um, oops. Uh, Sensi is the answer to a question and, you know, and he gives the example of it's like the answer is, it's like you're a third grade math teacher and the answer is seven and you're, that would be more, be more like kindergarten. Our kids are doing extreme math these days, but anyway, you're a kindergarten teacher and you're walking around shouting seven, 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 and you're going to find one kid with a piece of paper, you know, with four plus three on their paper. And you're going to find another kid with, you know, six plus one on their paper. And then you're going to find some kids with, you know, three plus eight on their paper, right? Where it's not, it's not the right answer for them. And for other people, it's the right answer, but there's different ways to get there. And it's the same with Sensi. So you're sharing the opportunity with everybody until it's somebody's answer. So their question might be, I mean, there's a myriad of things that their question is going to be, right? But Sensi is the answer to that question in a variety of ways. Now, in the same way, he talks about how, you know, have you ever had your kids argue with you about the, what the answer is, where you say, they say, what's four plus three? And you say, it's seven. And they say, no, it's not seven. It's not seven. It's not what my teacher said. That's not how you get there. It's not seven. It's the same thing with Sensi when sometimes we have to ask people several times. I think I've told you guys either, or maybe in my leap to lead group, I've told. Uh, but I write down everybody who I share the opportunity with in this little purple steno pad. And then I write their answers, right? And I would say more often than not, they said no before they said yes, at least once. Lots of people don't say yes on the first time. So if you've gotten no's lately, if you've gotten no's with the people who you're talking to, that's okay. That doesn't mean that it's going to be a no forever. So what Jason's encouragement was is that you uh, develop some sort of follow-up system so you aren't losing track of the people who you've shared the opportunity with because you want, you're going to want to go back and ask them again no matter what that follow-up system looks like. So for for everybody that you have asked recently, we're going to start a follow-up system and we're going to share it again with them and say, like, what is, it's maybe like June or July, right? Would maybe be a good time, a couple times down, a couple months down the road. And then if they say no again, you're following up with them in like October, you know, September, October, offering them the opportunity to make a little bit more money for Christmas, you know, and Sensi's really good about giving us ways and reasons to share the opportunity, whether it's an enhanced starter kit or, you know, jumping in at the peak of selling season or jumping in at the beginning of an incentive trip earning point, like whatever it is, you know, but you're going to want to make sure that so everybody you're asking in February, you're following up with again a few months down the road. Because statistically, sensi wide, most people say no before they say yes. So that's encouraging. That's encouraging. If you've heard three no's this month because you've handed out three packets, be so proud of yourself because those could be yeses down the road. Okay, so um, follow up systems in the ways of. You know, it could be something like this where you go back and look. It could be keeping a uh, folder where you, um, you know, you're moving the names kind of like in your planner. It could be in your planner where you have, you know, your potential recruits written there. And then you go out and write your potential recruits, you know, down the road. Um, it could be... 
It can be any anything that works for you. It can be notes on your phone, alerts on your phone. Um, it can be a variety of, of ways, just some sort of follow-up system. So my challenge to you is to begin your follow-up system if you don't have one already. Um, and maybe if you do have one already, please share with us what you do to follow up with potential recruits. Or if you're just starting one today, let us know what you're going to do to follow up with potential recruits. And then the second part of it is to, and put those people in there who you've talked to this month. The second part of it is, is to go back and actually follow up with someone. So all of us in this group didn't just start recruiting this month. I know that because you all already have teams. So go back to maybe someone who you shared the opportunity with in October, who in October it wasn't a good time for them. And maybe check in with them and let them know about our new spring catalog and let them know about how, how much you'd love to have them on your team. And, you know, as always, anytime you approach a follow-up of any sort, with, um, like, genuine compliments and respect. They're not going to be, people aren't going to be frustrated with you for bugging them. Now, if they are frustrated with you for bugging them, that's probably something going on in their life um, and not a reflection of you. And so, uh, don't take that personally. But if you approach someone and you say something like, hey, I know we talked about you joining Sensi in October and it wasn't a good time then, but I'd really just like to revisit it with you now. See if maybe now is a great time. We have an amazing new catalog coming out. There are things in there that are just going to blow your mind and I would love to have you on our team. I would love to have you on our team because I think you would be fun to work with. I would love to have you on our team because you are one of my best hostesses. I would love to have you on our team because you are so social and you know so many people. I would love to have you on your team because, you know, um, whatever the reason. Like, you know, if it's a genuine compliment, they're not going to be like, I told you no already. Don't tell me I'm a good person again. Nobody says that. So um, I know it can feel, we can talk ourselves out of like, oh, I don't want to bug them again. But remember, it's not a bugging, it's a blessing. And our job is to just share the opportunity, share the knowledge, and, um, and then it's up for them to decide. So if they tell you again that this is still not a good time, that's okay, right? So uh, put them in and talk to them again in June. Until they're really just like, I just absolutely not. I mean, I have girls who, no joke, have been telling me no for probably six years. And, you know, some for three years that I can think of, some for longer, one for about five years, just off the top of my head. And, I mean, I maybe don't ask them every three months, but I'd be sure to bring it up. If they have a good party, again, hey... Are you sure you don't want to join? This was a really good party. It can be your first party. It's now a good time. Oh, no, it's just not a good time. I have so much going on with this and this and this. Okay. You know? So um, follow up with someone who you've shared the opportunity with before today and um, start your follow-up system today so you can stay on track and stay on top of who you're following up with um, going forward with your recruiting efforts. And... Keep getting those packets out there. That's amazing jobs, everyone. Uh, give yourself a round of applause and keep sharing them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days left, in including today. So a lot can happen in that time frame. So keep up the great work, everyone, and I will talk to you soon. Remember, it's bonus kit month, so it's a really good reason to join. Okay, great work, everyone. Talk to you soon.